Hi everyone! In this Smart BI video, let us explain the different types of data analysis. We often talk to you about data analysis, but did you know that there are three different types? Descriptive, predictive, and prescriptive analysis. And their level of complexity increases from one to the next. Today, I'll explain each of them. 1. Descriptive analysis to understand the situation. This type of analysis allows you to realize what happened during a given period and also describe the current situation. A bit like an accountant. When we do descriptive analysis, we usually use key performance indicators, also known as KPIs, to monitor our results. When you analyze the results of an advertising campaign, or when you look at how your sales have performed over the past few months, you're doing descriptive analysis. In my opinion, any well-structured company should do descriptive analysis to measure the success of its actions and make decisions based on facts. 2. Predictive analysis, or the crystal ball. It's the combination of the art and science of building predictive models where you use historical data to predict what will happen. For example, what will my sales be this year? Or how many new customers will my next marketing campaign bring me? This type of analysis is used to predict what is likely to happen in the future based on past data. If, for example, we look at the financial statements of a company, we could say to ourselves, if we maintain our current results, we will make a profit of X dollars this year. 3. Prescriptive analysis. This is the last of the three, and certainly the most complex. Although similar to predictive analytics, prescriptive analytics is more of a way of simulating results using multiple scenarios to find what operational conditions or parameters lead to the best results. For example, we might want to find the best allocation of marketing budget to maximize the number of conversions obtained. To achieve this, we will rely on the historical data of our campaign and on our predictive parameters such as effectiveness of different types of media or advertising formats. With this data, we will be able to do different simulations to find the perfect scenario. In short, this time, the best decision would be suggested by a machine by testing several different scenarios. In real life, every company should at least invest time in good descriptive analysis as part of its operations. Usually, descriptive analysis is enough to enable good decisions to be made. You need a good level of data maturity to engage in the other two types of analysis. So start mastering your current results before you buy yourself a crystal ball. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you soon.